to uh, that you could join us here this morning as South Dublin County Council makes a commitment to become the first jam card friendly local authority in the Republic of Ireland. Since we were established in 1995, South Dublin County Council has been committed to making the county an accessible county, uh, but we realise that being accessible means not just providing for people with physical disabilities, but also for those who have communication difficulties. And that's why today we are talking to you about the Jam Card. And like all the best ideas, the Jam Card is a really simple, innovative idea uh, created by the, the, the NOW group. Uh, and it simply says, just a minute. And today, uh, in South Dublin County Council, we are committing that we will be making Jam Cards available at our public counters, in our libraries, and other facilities around the county. So that if you are interacting with any of our staff uh, and you have communication difficulties, you can pick up a card and just say, please, just a minute, give me a bit of time so that I can communicate properly with you. Our staff will be wearing Jam Card pins so that everybody can see that it is a Jam Card friendly environment. And we hope that by pursuing this innova innovation, that it will encourage other businesses and uh, retail settings around the county to follow suit and take the jam car training, which I did myself this morning, really simple, and get a certificate confirming that you are jam car trained and, 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 and able to, uh, to communicate properly and use the, uh, the, the, the jam car. It's so simple, uh, and as I said, Today is another step uh, on the road for South Dublin County Council in making this county a really inclusive county. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, I know Maeve from now is, is, is going to talk to us further uh, about Jan Card, uh, and I'll hand you over to, to Maeve now. Thank you, Councillor. It's really brilliant to be here, and I really appreciate the opportunity to speak to you all, those of you in the room and, and those listening in uh, wider afield. I'm coming to you today from cloudy but dry Zappa, so it, it, it's lovely to be able to do this uh, conversation remotely. And we're just really delighted um, and, and was really pleased that you guys are the first. Uh, local authority in the south of Ireland to become jam card friendly. It's a really big deal for us and we're really um, looking forward to how we might be able to work with you in the future. Uh, and, and like you said, well first of all I'd like to say congratulations because of the passing your test. It, it, it is an easy one but um, I think it, it shows the commitment that um, the council has to really looking at accessibility um, in all of their venues and that's the bottom line for Jamcard, it has been designed by our participants who have rated the, the initial design group for people with learning difficulties and autism. And they and the reason why it works is because it was a problem that they identified and they have come up with a solution and we've helped them uh, design that solution. And the jam card, as you said, means jam just a minute. And that idea of please be patient. I have, and, and the card can say a range of um, conditions, learning difficulty, autism, or a condition. And it's just at that point of contact, whether it's in a shop, getting on a bus, going to your bank, you know, that the whole idea of interaction where for a range of reasons, somebody with a communication and difficulty or anxiety can really get concerned about how they're gonna get the message out. And in this society where things have become like digital, as you can see today and how we're speaking, that becomes more difficult for people who ha haven't got a very, you know, having a visual uh, a disability that's very obvious. And the card, whether it's a physical card that people can access from your site or they can download the app, um, means that people have something there that they can say, hold on a minute, I just need an extra minute. It's not asking for any particular favour, it's not asking for any discount, it's not asking for any particular additional um, service. It's just that minute so that I can get my words out, so that I can get my money sorted out, so that I can tell you what I need. And you know, you, your council is to be congratulated for understanding the value of that wide range of customers. Who for many reasons maybe haven't been accessing services or been very not, um, very concerned about it because of that hidden disability. Um, so yes, John Card is what I would say.
then Now Group is a social enterprise uh, working across the island of Ireland, which is registered in the site as well, uh, that supports people with learning difficulties and autism. But John Card is nearly bigger than us now. <laughs> We have 50,000 jam card users across the UK and Ireland and, and wider fields and it's really gathering momentum because people need this more now than ever. Uh, we have 1,800 organisations, um, your council being one of them, who have committed to becoming jam card friendly businesses and 70% of all of the jam card users say that having a jam card improves their everyday lives and their activities and makes them feel like we can access goods and services better. So that it just can't be a bad idea, in my opinion. And you'll see that the, the growth of it across the island of Ireland has been with the public transport, um, have all, you know, all of the buses and the rail networks across the island of Ireland are jam card friendly now. Dublin City University, a number of the banks, including AIB and Bank of Ireland and Ulster Bank. So that idea of people understanding that there's a significant um, percentage of our population who, for whatever reason, have a, a challenge at some point in their lives to do with communication, and that their 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 custom and their money is as important as anybody else's. And I think this is the start of something new where people understand that inclusion you know, can be done in a light touch way. And it, it doesn't have to be very, very complicated. It just has to be done in a way where um, the person, when they go into one of your facilities or one of the banks or onto a bus, see the logo and know this person has my back. I'll be okay, no matter what happens. I'll get a minute if they need it, and they might never need it. And lots of people say they have the card and only maybe used it once, but the, the reassurance that if something happens and they need it, that it's there, seems to be the thing that gives them um, real assurance and, and helps them get out more, be more active, and spend more money locally. And let's be honest, we all need as many people spending locally as many as we can, so I'm looking forward to seeing lots of jam card users in, in your council area and lots of businesses trained up so that there's that feeling of accessibility and people can see the logo and know that the, the, the different um, businesses and venues have their back. And just to finish with the fact that it is a big deal that you're the first local authority in, in, in South Ireland and we're just really proud of you. I think you've taken a step, you've seen the opportunity there and I would I would be sure that you'll see lots of positive feedback now from your jam card users and I would encourage you to keep it live, keep it engaged, keep talking about it because the need um, within the population for something like jam card is only getting bigger. Um, so well done and congratulations and I look forward to hearing lots of more councillors and staff um, become a jam card uh, trained uh, staff and also that you have loads more jam card uh, users in, in your in your council area. Super, thank you so much Maeve. We're really glad you could join us today. Those numbers that you've given us are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and I hope that on the back of what we're doing today that those numbers continue to go up. And yeah. a, a couple of weeks ago we committed to the use of communication boards in, in uh, playgrounds and other settings like that. So. This is another step towards making communication that little bit easier for everybody. And, and we hope that we can continue to work with you guys as we do that over the, the coming months and years. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you very much. It's an absolute pleasure.